pitcher. Here we go. I got a chance. Oh, we're at Wrigley. I'm finally the home team. Thank God. <laughs> Seven and two. Oh, I'm dead. Jeez, why do we get all these good players? Seven and two. I'm screwed. Oh yeah, Rudd's getting trashed. Casper Rudd. Can you imagine him winning set three? No, he won't win. He'll get... Jeez. Crazy. You had to beat somebody good to get this far. Hmm. Yeah. Probably. I can already tell this game's going to be a loss for me. You gotta hit on the first batter. Tom Seaver appears to be like a bad card. Look, that's a home run. How is that a home run? He reached out and... Jeez. This is gonna be a bad... I should just quit now. Why is... Like, why does Tom Seaver appear to be terrible? Yeah. I think he's just swinging for home runs. Oh, no. This game's not going under 44. I hate it already. Mm. Who is this guy? I don't know who that was, but he almost hit a bomb. Mm. Well, you could start with most states don't have behavioral health for kids. Like we, I think we have like three or four places in Iowa. <laughs> okay, I'm down to nothing already. Pete Crow Armstrong. Let's go. I'm betting 400 with them already. Here we go. It's like two hits and like six at bats. There's a base. Is that a base hit? Hit it too hard. I hit it. <laughs> oh no. Willie Mays. I was doing so well with Willie Mays. Now I've struggled to get his. Uh no. Uh Schwindel didn't get Schwindel didn't get a hit. Well I took it as a parlay with Vader. He had two hits though, but I I parlayed it with uh Harrison Vader. Because they said he's really good against Cubs, which he was not yesterday. So that's great. Oh I need to get a bomb with Castellanos. I'm ready. That was a that was the pitch right there, and I missed it. Mm. What's a SCR? That's circle change? No, that's a slurve. Wow, this guy throws a slurve. Hmm. Lou Garrick. I need more lefties. I noticed. I don't. Yeah, slurve. Ah. I don't know. I can. I guess I can look next time I'm batting. You can hit the left trigger or whatever. It'll tell you. This guy's just swinging for home runs. Like literally, I could tell by the way he's batting. Yeah. You do. Hmm. Oh. I'm going to lose this stupid random basketball bet. I hate to see it. Well, it's 22 and 15. That's 37. Well, actually, maybe I'll win the bet. Mm. Yeah, baseball on Sunday is a bad idea. 
Betting on Sunday baseball is a disaster. Ezekiel Duran. I'm literally throwing right down the middle. He's not swinging. This is great. This is why I lose games. <laughs> immaculate inning. Hello. <laughs> I just threw an immaculate inning. <laughs> and yeah, I'll lose this game. I'm pitching well, and I'll lose. 2 nothing, probably. Oh, I hit the stupid pitch. Is that gone? Marcus Simeon. First home run. Let's go. That's why I pick him up. Yeah, he came. He was with the Nicholas Castellanos in that pack or whatever. Oh. And there's a Brian Wilson as well. I didn't think Brian Wilson was that good, like, but he was with them when they won the World Series a couple times, right? Oh, and he had the beard or whatever. Yeah, it was closer. No. Oh. oh, I lost that bet. That was pretty easy. That goes 15 cents. I gotta find like a one plus 1,000 play and put like 10 cents on it. That would be the way. <laughs> Take Casper Rudd plus 3,000 to win. Imagine. 10 cents only pay you $3. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Oh, I should look. Yeah, SCR is screwball. He throws a screwball. This guy's killing me with the screwball. Dennis Kudla. I've been on him before. So, have you been on him? He's in the Surbiton Challenger 2022. Dennis Kudla. I know I bet on him in the past. Bunch it back towards the pitcher. The throw to first. <laughs> Got him trying to bunt for a hit. Um, back to the top of the lineup. And now here is Michael Young. All right, what can we bet on the Yankees? Judge that home run. Plus 295. Boy, those are terrible odds. <laughs> you can't do that on DraftKings. You're fine, can you? DraftKings, you can. Oh, Fanzo, you can't. How do you even make contact with that? No. Jordan Montgomery. Four and a half strikeouts? Does he get strikeouts? I mean, they've been lights out. I should just take him. The Yankees pitchers. We were taking Giolito as our ladder play of the day, apparently. I don't like it. He doesn't pitch well against good hit good teams. The Rays don't have great hitting, but they're an above average team, I'd say. Seeing Aaron Judge in a Cardinals uniform is just scary. He's got those blue yang or blue uh Cardinals uniforms. Ones they wore yesterday. Actually, they wore them yesterday. It's the Cubs. Game two they did, sorry. Um, I don't know what to bet on here. Some of these are dangerous. I'm not touching Pittsburgh and Arizona. I'm going to stay away from it. Los Angeles and Philadelphia. I want to take Cleveland, but... Baltimore seems to show up sometimes. Minnesota and Toronto. Probably should take Toronto. Minus one and a half. Didn't take it yesterday. Looked like an idiot yesterday. 
Patrick Corbin sucks. Take the Reds in any way you can. I'm taking him minus one and a half. Heck with it. Yeah. No, no, like the Reds will lose. Take the over nine and a half. Heck with it. Yeah. White Sox and Rays, I'm staying away from. Giants and Marlins. I should be taking the Giants, and I haven't been. Giants minus 124. I'm going to stay away from the Angels, cause, or the Astros, I mean, because they screwed me yesterday. Mike Clevenger against Eric Lauer. Staying away. But I would take Brewers if I had to. <laughs> Give me the Texas Rangers. Mar or Martin Perez is leading the ERA. Whatever, jeez. He's leading the league in the ERA this year. Gotta take him. I don't like him, but... He's doing something right. Uh, I'm staying away from Oakland and Boston. Dodgers and Mets I'm staying away from. And I'll figure something out for the Cubs game tonight. That's four picks, and I have 64 cents. How do I do this? <laughs> Put a parlay in? 64 cents will pay six bucks. Oh god, what a terrible idea. This this sucks having no money on fan. <laughs> Number Alright, I'm just gonna take Toronto run line for 50 cents. It's my bet of the day. <laughs> and DraftKings will print the rest of those bets. I'm going to miss. I have seven strikeouts through four innings with Tom Seaver. He's literally swinging for home runs, and that's it. I could tell. He's six years early on a slider right down the middle. That doesn't make any sense. But yet when I throw a fastball, he's late. That's what makes no sense to me when I when I play like the people play like this. Yeah, he's late. What pitch is he looking for then? <laughs> Jeez. Makes no sense at all. Jim Edmonds. And he swings and misses at the of course, there's a bunch of booze for the NBA game tonight. Here's a line drive to left field. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, yeah. they take so many reps in the cages mm -hmm. working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did. Do they have any back-to-back, -back, or not back-to-backs, but uh, two like one day off instead of two days off? I doubt it. I bet it's every two, every three days. So they'll probably play another game Wednesday night. <laughs> He's about to win 6-0 in the second set. Wow. Or the third set, I mean. <laughs> That'll be the quickest. Yeah, this is the final. French Open final. <laughs> no. Where's Roger Federer at? Did he, he die? I thought he was, he was, he was the best for me for a long time. Let's go! Base hit, Luke Gehrig. This is why I start him over Anthony Rizzo. Come on, Simeon. Get a, get a home run. I already hit a home run already. But we'll do it again. Makes it. 
Oof. That's out number two. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was. Oh, I'm hitting this guy's screwball really well right now. This is great. First and third, two outs. Come on. Who's ever batting next? It's Rutschman. Please don't hit Rutschman. Oh, it's Adley Rutschman. Let's go. Come on, throw me another screwball. He did. And it grounded in the first. Oh. Dang it. Do I, do I take the Guardians? Minus 120? Uh, I'm going to do it. I hate it. I hope that's not the Guardians. I'll take them. I'll take the Blue Jays run line. I'll take the Reds over. What was the other pick I liked? Texas Rangers money line. That was it, I think. Yep. That's four picks. Do 250 a piece. That's 10 bucks. That's the rest of my $10. So if none of those picks hit, I'm out of money again on DraftKings. I got money there. Got plenty of money there. But I prefer DraftKings and FanDuel. I have nine strikeouts. This guy sucks. He bunted with the opposing pitcher. Hello? What in the world? This pitcher has 46 speed. How? It's crazy. This Michael Young card is pretty good for him. He's two for two. So NBA Finals games at 7 o'clock today. That's good, at least. Sundays, they always do it early. By an hour. Hmm. Okay. So games at 7 tonight. The next game is not until Wednesday. Jeez. And I'm assuming the next game will be Saturday. No? Friday, so they get a they only have one day off there at least. So they play Wednesday and Friday next week. After this game today. And then what do they play Sunday? Monday? Why would they play it on Monday? That's a weird schedule. Let's go, Santo! Base hit. No, my batter's my pitcher's gonna hit though. I hate it here. <laughs> Oh, should I bunt? I'll probably pop it up or something stupid. I'm going to bunt. I hate it already. Popped it up. What did I say? So, so I think the Cubs have tomorrow off. Or no, they're looking at that wrong. Yeah, they have tomorrow off, and they play the Orioles for a two-game series. So that should be a two-game two game sweep, hopefully. Oh, it's Hendricks pitching on Tuesday, though. Never mind. We're not sweeping nothing. We're gonna get swept. He misses it. Let's go, Pete Crow. Alex, what is his name? Alexander Armstrong. <laughs> I hate that he's got three names. I'll just probably just gonna say Pete Armstrong. <laughs> uh, yeah. Willie Mace is struggling. I've been struggling with this card now. I was doing so well with him to start. No. Oh! Right down the middle, and I can't hit it. I'm the worst. Let's go! I just said he can't hit! Let's go, Willie Mays! Let's go! Tie game. 2-2. Two two. Murphy on the ball beats Casper Rudd in straight sets to win his 14th French Open and 22nd career major title. Yeah, he, I told you he's good on clay. 14th. Yeah, he's good. I told. I knew he was good on clay. We should have taken him before the tournament. Mm-hmm. If you look up, let's see if I can figure out how to do it. Most 
Majors in men's tennis. I think he's up there with, uh, you know, Roger Federer and the Djokovic, who he did beat in this tournament. I don't know if they're number one or two. Oh, this is not what I wanted. List of Grand Slam related tennis records. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's number one. Wait a minute. Give me a second. I got a base hit. Let's go. Lou Gehrig, we're up 3-2. All right. Oh, he actually tied with Roger Federer now with that win. What did we say? That was number 22? Oh, no, Federer is 20. Sorry. I was wrong. So he's number one all time with the most Grand Slams. 22. Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic both have 20. And then there's no active players else on the list. <laughs> Uh, finals. Oh, wow. And Rafael Nadal has the least amount of finals played. Wow, so he wins when he gets the finals. If he would have been worth it, we could have taken it, but he wasn't, obviously. He's like minus 400 probably to win today. You could have taken him like minus two and a half sets, but... Right? That would have been what it probably would have been. Or under, like, 35 games or whatever the game's number was. Hmm. I wish I knew more about tennis to bet it. I know enough to be dangerous, but not enough to, like, do good enough. Because, like, they have ATP tournaments, like, every week throughout the summer. That's what people bet on. Yeah, that's what people bet on. Because there's only four majors, so. Just like golf. There's only the four majors. What is it? French Open, U.S. Open, Wimbledon. There's one more. Australian Open? I'm not sure. Uh, women's titles. Serena Williams is number two all time. Uh-oh. She needs one more. Margaret, Margaret Cow Court. She has 24. Serena Williams has 23. That's crazy. That lady is a, not a U.S. She is. Oh boy, I don't even know the name of that. What, what team that flag is, or what country that flag is from? Australia. I clicked on that flag. Yeah. Yeah, but I thought it might have been. I thought it may have been like the U.K. or something, or Europe. No, that's what I mean. <laughs> that's why. I'm starting to figure out this guy's screwball, and he's not liking me. <laughs> Base it up the middle. Let's go. Come on, Rutschman. Oh, is that gone? Come on, Rutschman. No, warning track power. I'm dead. Ugh. I can tell this guy's bad at the game. He throws the ball back to first base on a, on a fly ball out. He's going to end up throwing it away. I'll get a free base on it. That's fine. Oh. That's actually a good, good hit right there. Nice. Move the guy up to second base. Is my pitcher up next? Do I take him out in the sixth? I'm taking him out. I'm taking him out. I want to I wanna get another run here. Jazz Chisholm. Come on, Chisholm. Right, why did I bring him in? I brought in the lefty on lefty. I'm so stupid. <laughs> that was dumb. I didn't pay attention to who was pitching. <laughs> yeah, he's not. The other guy is that I use. Uh, Lindor. Not Lindor. Uh, who do I use? It's a switch hitter. Wander Franco. No, he's not. There's one guy there that I use that is on my bench. Yeah, okay. Alright. Righty, lefty, righty. So we'll use Victor Areno. He doesn't even get his names called over the head. They just say number 64. Woo. 
Yeah. Don't do that today. They won't hit. <laughs> Take yes runs the first inning for the Cubs game. Yeah, maybe we should just take them. They were saying on the, on the broadcast last night, the Cubs have a history of hit, getting runs in the first inning and then not scoring the rest of the game. So that's why I wait until the second inning to bet on the Cardinals. Anyway. <laughs> the books haven't caught up yet with that. Like, I'm throwing the ball right down the middle. This guy is not touching it. If he does hit it, he hits it foul. Hmm. Yeah. This day and age. Let's go, Willie Mays. I said he sucks. Now he gets two back-to-back -back hits. Nice. They're just singles, but it'll work. Castellanos needs to do something. I've struggled with him so far. Oh! Pop it up. I have three runs on nine hits, so I'm getting hits today at least. That's good. The last game I was not. The game's probably underway. Should have taken runs in the first inning, but I didn't. No, the Tigers and Yankees. Top of the first, zero zero. Here we go. It's on Peacock. I don't have that. Yeah. So they have this. Oh my. Ooh. What a shame. <laughs> hmm. Hey, you do. Take Cubs to score first. Since we think. Oh, that game's not till the night, so. You know how they have the umpire scorecards on Twitter they post? The Cubs one is not good. I didn't think it would be. You find it. Oh, he missed a he missed a bunch of calls. The Cardinals should have got a, a run when uh, the bases were loaded. When he struck him out. Yeah, that wasn't even close. Oh, this, wait. Oh, this is for game two. Never mind. Let me go back to game one. See if I can find it here. The, they gave the Cubs, like... The umpire gave the Cubs like 2.6 runs on it. But, I mean, they still won 6 to 1, but let's see if I can find it. I can't find that game. Here it is Bruce Dreckman, umpire. Plus 2.64 runs for Chicago. 
89 point, 89% accuracy on calls, which is below average. The average is 94%. He called 149 of 168 taken pitches correctly. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the shortstop at the 149 of 168. Not actually not that good. Like his calls were all over the place too. Like sometimes you'll see an umpire that's like calling everything a strike on the inside corner. Or like the whatever, the one side of the Yeah, this guy's all over the place. There was another pitch in the other game that was worse than the Cubs game yesterday, though. So. Nathan Avaldi. Adley Rutschman. Wow, he hit it super hard, but right to a guy. Hate it here. Okay, we go to the ninth. I'm up three to two. Oh, no. Oh, I need to bring in my... Oh, I didn't warm up my closer. I'm dead. Oh, and I got... Oh, no. Lefty, righty, lefty. Bring in David Price. Heck with it. I'll give him a, I'll give him a save. Like this David Price card. You, I think you said you like him too because he throws a two seamer. David Price? Oh, you do. Hmm. He's not taking off me. I have a point eight ERA with this guy. I like this card. Look at that. He swings it when you swing at every pitch. This is a good card. If it's a pitch pitcher where you have to throw strikes, he's not going to do well. There is a stat for that in the card, uh, whatever you call it, for these pitchers. Their pitching consistency or their whatever it's called. Yep. Because you probably uh, didn't technically get a double. There might have been air. There might have been a throwing air or a... I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Sounds like you cheese the system. So you're not even playing online games. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, I don't either. Yeah, but I pulled the card. <laughs> and then I bought him. His price did not drop as much as I thought it would. But I still didn't buy him for more. I don't know how this guy got two runs in the first inning off me. He literally couldn't hit the ball since then. Crazy. I won I went three or two. And he didn't he didn't score a single run past the first inning. <laughs> Let's go, huge win. Oh, it was. Dang it. <laughs> no, it was a different person. Yeah, he scored two in the first. And only got four hits. Wow. I'll take it. I don't win very many games. Tom Sieber, six innings, two earned. I'll take that. Ten strikeouts. That's pretty good. Hmm. 